What's up tribe? Thank you for being here and welcome to my channel. Today's post is titled Perdition and as it's a dialogue between Matthias and his higher self, I'll be referring to Matthias as me and to his higher self as I am. Me. After a crisis. There is nothing more normal than asking ourselves, where am I? And immediately, we come to more questions. What did this happen for? Why? What did I do? Worth it? What if maybe I have to drop everything? Has everything I have done up to now worked? Or was it in vain? I am. It is normal to ask yourself all this when you lose your way. When everything that you considered normal suddenly ends, the normal thing in humans is to believe that when they experience a crisis, nothing they have done has been worth it. Because no matter how much you have moved, you have ended up badly and suffering. That is a very short-term look. You are so focused on the emotion of the moment, so much on the feeling of the present, that you interpret past and future with the same emotion. It is there when everything seems to lose meaning. And therefore, you do not have a point of reference, of origin or destination. Me, it's the feeling of total doom. I am, and it is exactly what it is about. The perdition. Me, in what way? I am, tell me, what is discovering? Me, it's removing what is covering something and seeing that which was covered for the first time in my life. I am. So you had no prior idea of what was there? Me. No. If not, it would not be to discover. It would be to rediscover. I am. And what does discover imply from an emotional perspective? Me. Well, I think it implies enthusiasm, ecstasy, joy, surprise, fulfillment. I am. So something that you did not know before causes many positive things in your life. Me, it depends. If what I discover was something good or a horrible secret, I am. Both will lead you to emotions that will exalt your way of living, will change what you previously believed, to have to adapt to that new thing that you just saw. A discovery is a truth that comes out regardless of how horrible or beautiful what was covered. Me, yes, that's right. I am. So when you discover it, what you previously had as knowledge is no longer useful and you need new mental, emotional and physical tools to adjust to this new reality that you discovered. Me, I do. I am, without having anything before. So you have to leave everything you brought with you to go back to taking new things. Me, that's right. I am, so everything you brought now is all to give. Do you remember what word we got from this concept? Me. Forgive? I am. Exactly. Forgiveness is the positive concept in which the soul, the consciousness, recognize that they must let go of what they were attached to. Let it go in a loving and transforming process. But what if I don't want to let go and life forces me to change through a crisis? Me. I lose everything. I am, 
There you find the negative aspect of the word forgive, which is perdition. This word has the same etymology as pardonar, meaning the same thing, but in its case, it evolved into the verb perder in the Latin languages and lose in the Saxon languages, which means cut, divide, leave apart. Me, they mean the same thing, of course. One arises from the inner will out of love and consciousness of liberation, forgive, and the other arises from the outer pressure, out of fear and unconsciousness of punishment, perdition. I am, the sensation of being lost in life only highlights those moments of unconsciousness in which you blame the external world for your misfortunes, believing yourself to be the prisoner of a destiny that you yourself have drawn in another dimension. The crisis shows you that you do not know everything, that you must discover yourself. To do this, you must take into account why life needs you to get lost. It all begins in the safety of the known path. When you think you know, wise of your walk, and you have turned what you see into your routine, you cling to what you know and can control, and you design your life accordingly. The attachment to the path and the known life generate attachment to the mission and destiny, generating an idea of security in the purpose towards which you are going, even if it's not more than a projection of your desires and not of your truths. So, when the moment of truth arrives, Nothing that you have created by belief will allow you to fulfill your purpose because your true mission in life is in tune with your essence, not with your personality. When you project your destiny according to the desires of the personality, covering your essence more and more, the force of the universe will pressure you to discover it and to really see what was in you. Me, you are a precious gem covered in shit, said the reptilian. I am. Do you understand him now? Your life is about discovering yourself, understanding that that shit is nothing more than compost for your life, but that for fear of shining like a gem, you have done nothing but cover it by removing the purpose of compost and gym alike. The crisis is that bucket of cold water that removes all the shit in a hard and unexpected blow, leaving the gym unprotected. There you find that you have built your whole life based on the compost of your personality and not on the gym of your essence. Then you find yourself weak without any sense, because everything you have built was for your compost and for the compost of others, but not for you, for your truth. So you have no choice but to leave everything, to release it by force, because life cries out to be yourself. The hardest detachment is leaving everything you believed in both your past and your future and letting go of it all is called being. I have felt lost many times in my life, trying to do what others wanted. In search of myself, I have lost myself. It's a horrible feeling. Sometimes you get lost in your own thoughts losing the logic of all things. Sometimes he gets lost in the emotion of the soul, entering a deep pit with no way out. Sometimes you get lost with your body, not knowing where you are or finding your way back. I have lived them all. 
I am. Tell me. Me. I remember that time my guides told me that I should do ayahuasca. I refused for months. They said that I was so projected into earthly life doing things for my personality that I could not hear my spiritual essence and I needed a tool from earth to do it. But I did not want, and I suddenly started to feel that nothing made sense. My mind felt an enormous emptiness, strange, without direction. Even my internal GPS vanished. There was nowhere to go. I was in Mendoza, Argentina, and when I went out to the street to go home, I realized that I could not understand where the North was. I went back inside the boy's house and I told them that I could not leave because I did not know where was it. It was the first time I consciously experienced doom. This led me to travel to Chile to do my first ayahuasca ceremony. And three days before, they stole everything I had with me. My guides told me, you have to start from zero. That's how it went. I felt all that year that my mission, my idea of myself, was not the same. That everything I believed about me had changed. The concept of the universe, of purpose, of my beliefs. I saw everything from a complete vision. I turned, it turned my head completely. They told me that a person should live at least three points zero in his life for each of his bodies, mental, emotional, and physical. Crises that lead to a state of total doom, of restart. I am. And the second? Me. I think the second involved the heart. That 2017 for me was terrible in that sense. The same week that I started the Camino del Dragon in Patagonia, my grandmother died, someone who means too much in my life. I felt that when I left on my mission, I abandoned her in her last days, and that destroyed me, accompanying me all the way until I fell into that depression and collapse in Mexico that made me return home and be autistic for a month. When I came to myself, I traveled to Europe, where I ended up making my trips to Mount Kailash and Brittany, which led me to Switzerland to find that love of the void. There, I ended up emotionally collapsing, and after that, it felt like my system rebooted. I am. And the third? Me. Well, I guess it started with Mount Kailash facing death and continued in Scotland on Mount Store, on the Isle of Skye. In the first place, I almost died of a stroke and frostbite at 7,000 meters of altitude during the Cora path, and I literally began to see the light at the end of the tunnel. In the next one, I got lost in the mountains through winding roads, and the clouds covered me, leaving a terrifying and macabre landscape in which the cliffs began to be slippery and I could not find my way back. I was trapped on a cliff where I could not see anything at two meters and if I moved maybe I would fall into the void. There I felt that this could be the day of my death. I was afraid. I will not deny it. My whole life passed by and I felt each one of my cells, trying to defend itself in tension. But when I relaxed and meditated, a cloud moved and showed me the way. It was difficult to get out of there, but I made it. That day I wrote my will. I felt that I had never thought that I could die and that I should be more careful. I am. When you get to the end of things, the only thing left before you are possibilities. People associate the word perdition with the defeat, almost like the fall of the infernal abyss in which the soul has no return.
does not find the right path. However, for the universe, which is a creative being, there is no interest in the straight path. The universe imagines possibilities, imagines diversity, and what it tries to do is discover more about itself, find what it cannot see clearly from the beginning. So he traces paths, history. You need to lose yourself in order to find yourself. Me, that phrase is key. The universe is in a single point. Everything comes together there and it's inevitable to think that it created all this in order to discover what it was capable of. That is, that it needed to lose itself to find itself. It, it needed to give everything. Yes, to see a new option. I am. You lose yourself in life because you have created a destiny that is not the real one. And losing everything you have built, it is when you discover the possibility of what truly lies in you. The doom, then, is the universe pulling you out of your mental, emotional, and physical comfort zone so that you can see other forms. Me. I take those moments more clearly now. Now I see that despairing of getting lost, as it happened to me in the mountains, leads nowhere, and that the solution is to sit down and rethink where I was going. The moment of perdition is the moment zero of restart, not the loss or end, but the reunion and the beginning. I am when your soul is lost in life again. Now you will know what to do. Me, let go of all destiny and remember that I will always find myself inside.